in this video I'm going to explain um, what you can do uh, basically with uh, Cloud Control Center and what you see on your screen. So after login um, you enter this dashboard and in this dashboard um, you see exactly um, what service unit you have, what tenants you have and what customers you have and the status of it. Now if you um, look service units and tenants I explained in the earlier video if you want to uh, read what it is um, in about Cloud Control Center, you see exactly um, what the explanation is. And here we can see that we have a service unit, we have, don't have a tenant yet, and we already have a customer. So that's important. Here to the left, you have uh, a couple of options. Um, in this video uh, sessions, we are going to uh, focus on the service units, uh, customer tenants, and license files, because that's more or less the, the, the basic uh, work you have to do. Now, I think what, uh, what's most important is that you understand that if you're running Business One in the cloud, it's a little bit different than if it's on-premise. So in the on-premise uh, environment, um, you're able as a consultant um, to manage everything through Business One. Uh, if you have the cloud environment, um, a lot of those functions are um, in Cloud Control Center where you can manage that and have the overview of everything. So I think that's a very important thing. So basically, Cloud Control Center uh, for SAP Business One in, uh, in the cloud. Um, in the next videos, uh, we're going to look at the service units, the customers, the, the, the tenants, and the license files. That's it. Thank you.